I need to uh, I need to do a lot, but what I need to do is I need to make a little hanger so this can like go there, and not get real hot, but stay warm. If that makes any sense. Little disclaimer. They probably should be deep fried and not pan fried. I'm I'm pretty proud of this little thing. There there it is, guys. There it is. There it is. Deep fried potato balls. Let me say that for you again if you misunderstood. Deep fried potato balls. Um, I took some leftover mashed potatoes. I threw some uh, fresh chives I chopped up. Little Parmesan cheese that I hand grated. Rolled them into a ball. Oh, don't forget the egg. Don't forget a little bit of the uh, uncooked potato flakes uh, instant Idahoans so that, uh, woo -woo, so that uh, you can form a ball. Put them in a deep fryer. 375 degrees for a couple minutes and this is what you get He's, co he's coming back. I see him through the trees. When I was growing up, my mom would make potato pancakes. Because we'd always have some leftover potatoes if we had mashed potatoes that night, you know, next morning. She would make potato pancakes. And we liked them as a kid. Now, I don't know if my brother remembers that. Hey, buddy, come here. Come on. Come over here, Odie. Come here. Odie. You got stop and pee everywhere. Hey. Anywho, where, where, was, where was I? Where was I? Oh, potato pancakes. And so, I have leftover potato, potato, potato pancakes from the, the stuff I made uh, the other day. I hate to throw them out because they were good. Check out the iCard or whatever, look at that video. And uh, so I thought I would do something a little different though. I would take those mashed potato, I'm gonna make two style, I, I call them little potato bites or little potato balls, little white potato balls. And uh, I'm going to, uh, Make like a breakfast one, and then an appetizer or d'oeuvre one, okay? For the appetizer one that I'm gonna be uh, cooking this morning, that has a, uh, Odie, 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 come here. Odie, come here. Odie, let go, drop, drop. No, 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 come here, come here. He just, he found a, uh, <laughs> No. Oh, God damn it. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. He found a piece of our LJ. <laughs> and I don't want him. Get out of here. Get, 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 get. So now, you, now you're not going to move. Is that how that works? He found a little piece of LJ. And he wanted to eat LJ all the time. Okay, but he not eat. Now he won't leave me alone. Um, so yeah, the uh, the appetizer or d'oeuvre bite, it has uh, freshly chopped up chives, real chives, not the onion greens like I use. Real chives and some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Put that into the mixture, mixed it all up, threw an egg in it. And then, and then, it was a little runny still. My brother was like, well, how are you gonna get it to stay together? Well, he's right. And so what I did, I took some of those instant potatoes that we used to thicken up the mashed potatoes. Stop it. Uh, mashed potatoes. Hey, come here. And uh, put some, mixed those in and uh, got it to the right consistency. I rolled out little balls. Then I rolled those in uh, some panko breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna fry those up today. Now the, uh, the the breakfast one, and this is what I like. I had some sausage. 
uh, leftover sausage that I cooked yesterday. I didn't use the whole pound, so I had a half a pound of sausage. I threw that into a, a cup of uh, mashed potatoes. I put some green onion in it. I put some cheddar cheese in it, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powders. Mix that all up real good. Again, a little bit of the instant mashed potatoes to thicken it up and uh, get it so I can roll it. Roll that in panko breadcrumbs and I'm gonna fry that up for you today. I love cooking with lard. My mom cooked with a lot of lard and grandma and grandma before her. Um, it's not that expensive. I do have to look and see if you can filter it and keep it after each use for a couple uses because again, I, I don't wanna really just throw it away. So these actually look pretty good. I'm really happy how they turned out. What'd you find now to eat? Deep frying would be better. It'd be quicker and easier because you just put it in, leave them there a couple minutes or so and pull them out. So maybe I'll do the appetizer ones. I'll do them in the deep fryer and see if they come out any better. I probably put too many in here like I always do. I think the trick, the trick's gonna be, you just gotta watch them. If you got people over for the hall, Odie, if you have people, I'm gonna do it one more time, Odie. If you have people over for the holidays, maybe you do a, I'll have to try to figure out maybe a breakfast with all your leftovers, man. You could probably make some uh, turkey hash, which would be good. You could take the little, little potato balls, eggs, throw some eggs into the mix. Maybe a little bacon. Put too many in here, I knew I did. Now what do you got? Hey, now what do you got? Fuck it off. Come here, come on. Cody, come here, come here buddy. Come here, what's your, come here. Can you sit? That's your good dog. That's your good dog. No, oh, get down. Don't get up there. No. You're a good dog. Alrighty now. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay. Um. <laughs> this was this was an experience. I did I did learn something. The grease has to be hot enough, which mine wasn't in the cast iron. And if you have a deep fryer, go ahead and deep fry them with a basket. They just come out looking prettier. So if you can, deep fry them with a basket so you can take them in and out. They just come out looking nicer and more professional and uh, more presentable. They tasted wonderful. They just uh, they just weren't great looking, uh, but they taste. They were awesome. They were taste. You could taste the uh, well. Here's one here. Whoa, see, they fall apart. But I can taste the sausage in it, the cheddar cheese. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, if you're just feeding, if you're just you're just serving those, you don't care what they look like, those are okay. Get your grease hot enough in the pan. That's that's the, the thing here. Now, the other ones, hey, they look restaurant quality, professional, very proud to serve them up. Uh, put a couple of those on everybody's breakfast plate or as hors d'oeuvres and then maybe a horseradish sauce or something that you can serve with it. These ones, 
are perfect. I mean, I haven't tried them yet, though. Now, this is the uh, the chives and Parmesan cheese. That, that is tasty. That is good. I'd probably make them a little smaller, so you can just pop me. I don't know. The cheeses, oh, these are good. I'm gonna eat all 12 of these. That's all I got for you guys. This is Rico, the tie-dye cowboy. As usual and always, I want to wish your family well. Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking. Salud, my friends.